in this project we will need a breadboard 6 volt 300 milliampere solar panel 2200 microfarad capacitor 100 microfarad capacitor 7805 linear voltage regulator charging cable and few jumper wires this is the mini solar panel which is rated 6 volt and 300 milliampere but in full sunny day it gives almost 7 volt and 300 milliampere current but our cell phone chargers are 5 volt rated so we have to make the solar output constant 5 volt current does not matter only less current means longer charging time in the back side they have two point one is positive and another one is a negative i solder two wires and connect them to the breadboard's upper and lower power lines now the upper line becomes positive and lower line becomes negative to minimize the solar fluctuation i used a 2200 microfarad capacitor in parallel now connect lm7805 linear voltage regulator which will maintain the output voltage and gives us constant 5 volt but its input must have to more than 6 volt connect the input pin with vcc ground pin to the ground now connect a 100 microfarad capacitor in parallel to the output and ground to stabilize the output voltage now we have to connect the charging cable i got it from my damaged charger now carefully see this there have two wires in the cable one is white and another one is black black wire must be the ground so where the white wire is the vcc so connect the black wire to the ground and white to the output pin of 7805 now everything is done but before plugging it into your phone check the output voltage so i'm going to my another room from where i can directly get the sunlight now i'm taking my multimeter to the voltage mode and see the output voltage is 5.17 volt this is not fully 5 volt but don't worry this is 100 percent safe for your mobile because i already checked the original charger gives around 5.2 volt and some charger gives 5.4 volt also now time to charge a cell phone as i connect the charger you can see my phone starts charging it takes almost 3 hours to fully charge a 1000 milliampere battery thanks for watching in my next video i will show you how to make a solar power bank and also how to make a powerful mobile charger if you have any question regarding this project let me know just leave a comment below the video I will answer you as soon as possible. Click on the link below to go to the project page and there you will find all necessary information regarding the project including circuit diagram and step by step walkthrough of the project. And we regularly upload similar videos like this. So if you don't want to miss them then please click the subscribe button below. Thank you.